Welcome to the National Science and Math Week. Salma, 5.4 watts. You're right. Even function. You're right. KNUSC Senior High School. Congratulations on winning the contest. Welcome to the National Science and Math Quiz. Today we bring you the 22nd 1A stage contest of the 2016 edition of the competition. The contest features Adan Senior High School, St. Monica Senior High School, and Fijai Senior High School. <laughs> Fijai Senior High School. Fijai Senior High School is represented by Abi Basilila, final year. Natasha, I'm a final year. You are very welcome, ladies. Thank you. How are you? We are fine. All right. Fijai Senior High School. Is it a mixed school? Yes. yes. Ah, and they decided to bring two ladies. That's great. I normally commend the schools that do that. So well done, Fijai, for 2016. <laughs> yes, and Fijai, uh, I remember you were the ones in that terrible tie break. Yes. How did that go? It was tough, but with God on our side, we would come out successfully. What were you feeling? <laughs> we lost all hope, but it turned out that God wants us to be here, so we are here. All right. <laughs> And today, what are your plans? We are still seeing Adastra Perasfera. That is to the skies, too thick and thin. All right. <laughs> Best wishes to you, ladies. Thank you. St. Monica Senior High School. St. Monica Senior High School is represented by about different point Joyce final year. AJ Mensa Emanuela final year. You are welcome ladies. Thank you. How are you? We are fine. fine. Good. You are coming to us from the preliminary stage of competition. Yeah. Who did you meet and how did it go? We met um Presby Ebri and then we met Sabalugu SHS but we lost to Praise be every, and then we made it here as part of the 18 top um, losing scoring schools. All right. <laughs> and what are your plans for today? How you do our best and may the will of God be done. All right. Best wishes, ladies. <laughs> At that senior high school. Adan Senior High School is represented by Ibrahim Abubakar, final year. Mana Whiteman Pascal, final year. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you? We are, we are fine. doing great. Okay. You are at Cedar School. Yes. What did your seniors tell you about last year? What happened last year? Last year, uh, we made it to the quarter final. But we met uh, Kumasi Senior and Infant Pim at the quarter final, and unfortunately, we were kicked out. But this year, we are coming with all our full, full force, and we are coming to take the cup to Ada. You are taking the cup to Ada? 
Yes, please. All right, good. Let me wish you well then. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> Viewers, our contestants are ready. Adan wants to take the cup to Adan. And the ladies have other ideas. Well, before I sit down, I would like to acknowledge that the National Science and Mouth Quiz is proudly brought to you by Prime Time Limited. We are supported by the Ghana Education Service through the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools. We also have support from RMG Ghana Limited, a leading agro-input company. Finally, my outfit, my fabric is from GTP. Thank you, GTP. <laughs> my name is Dr. Elsie Efa Kaufman. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Biomedical Engineering, University of Ghana, and I'm your quiz mistress. Contestants, the contest comes to you in five rounds. The first round is a round for fundamental concepts, simple direct questions requiring simple direct answers from you. If you answer your major question correctly, three points. If the question is incorrectly answered, it becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring an answer. If the answer is correct, a bonus point. If it's wrong, it fetches a penalty point. For questions that require calculations, you have 30 seconds in which you can present your answer. If there are no calculations, you have 10 seconds to do so. All questions are to be attempted once, once only. Best wishes to all three schools. I'm going to start with St. Monica's. Your question. A mixture of mercurious and mercuric nitrates were added to a food substance. A white precipitate formed, which on gentle heating turned red. Name the food substance that was tested. Emanuela. Protein. Protein. Yes. Fijai, a carbohydrate solution was boiled with felon solution A and B, and a brick red precipitate was formed. Name the type of carbohydrate that was tested. Natasha. Non-reducing sugar. Non-reducing sugar. That's incorrect for a bonus. Pascal. A reducing sugar. Yes, reducing sugar. <laughs> or monosaccharide. Your major question. Sodium hydroxide solution was added to a food substance. Copper sulfate was then added to provide positive results. Name the food substance that was tested. Pascal? Pro protein. Yes. For the next set, 30 seconds. Say, Monikers, find the real depth of an object in a liquid with refractive index 1.3 when the apparent depth of the object is 10 centimeters. Yes, Emanuela? 13 centimeters. You're right. <laughs> Fijai. A coin lies at the bottom of a vessel containing liquid with refractive index 1.4 to a depth of 0 0.7 meters. Find the apparent depth of the coin. Natasha. 0 0.2 meters. That's incorrect. Emanuela. 0 0.5 centimeters. No. The right answer is 0 0.5 meters, meters, not centimeters. Ada, find the refractive index of a 15 centimeter thick glass block if the apparent depth of an object in contact with it is 10 centimeters.
Ibrahim. 1.5. Yes. <laughs> Say Monikers. State the expected observation when an alkanoic acid is tested with NaHCO3 solution and explain the chemistry of the test. Jocelyn. There will be, there will be a fair sense because of the presence of CO2, which will be formed from the NaHCO3. I'll give you one. And that's for saying there's going to be effervescence. Now the chemistry is that the alkanoic acid will protonate the HCO3 ion to give H2CO3, which will then decompose to CO2 gas and H2, the CO2 that you see as the effervescence. Give the expected product when butanoic acid is treated with a hot solution of ammonia. Yes, Ibrahim. Butanamide. No. The right answer is ammonium butanoate. State the expected observation when methyl butanoate is treated with a dilute solution of NaOH and the mixture heated. Explain the chemistry of the observation. Ibrahim. The, the product form would be metal uh, butanoic acid and and it will form but, uh, metal butanoic acid this is due to uh, the the sodium hydroxide donating the oh uh, group to the butanoate compound that's incorrect for bonus What will happen is this. The sweet smell of methyl but butanoate, which is an ester, will disappear when treated with hot NaOH solution. And the chemistry is that the methyl butanoate, which is an ester, will be hydrolyzed by the alkali. Mm? So you actually have butanoate ion and methanol, which doesn't have that sweet uh, smell. Next set, 30 seconds, you have a preamble. Find the solution set of the inequality 3x minus 3 is greater than 15. Given that, please, did you get the preamble? All right. Say, Monikers, x is an integer strictly between 1 and 10. Yes, Jocelyn. X is, x is greater than, X is such that X is greater than or equal to 7, less than or equal to 10. I'm not accepting that for bonus. Natasha. X is such that X is, le X is greater than or equal to 6 and less than 10. No. The right answer, 7, 8, 9. That's a set. Fijai. With the same preamble, x is an integer between 1 and 10 inclusive. Yes, Natasha? The set is 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yes. <laughs> Ada, with the same preamble, x is an integer less than 6. Yes, Ibrahim? It's a null set. Yes. <laughs> Preamble to all schools. Provide the functions of the indicator proteins under one of the following. Your options. Storage. Catalysis. Transport. Signal transduction. Structure. Please, did you get your preamble? Say, Monikers. Hemoglobin. Yes, Emanuela. Transport. You are right. 
fijai collagen Natasha structure yes myoglobin Pascal storage you're right Thirty seconds. This is your preamble. The specific heat capacity of water is four thousand two hundred joule per kilogram Kelvin. What is the heat capacity of five kilograms of water? Yes, Emanuela. Twenty-one thousand joules per Kelvin. Yes. With the same preamble, Fijai, how much water must be added to two kilograms of water so that its heat capacity becomes 19 kilojoule per Kelvin? Natasha. Three kilograms of water. That's incorrect for a bonus. <laughs> the right answer is 2.5 kilograms. Ada, with the same preamble, how much water must be taken from 5 kilograms of water so that its heat capacity becomes 15 kilojoule per Kelvin? Pascal. 3 kilograms. That's incorrect for bonus. <laughs> the right answer is 1.4 kilograms. Next set, 30 seconds. Say, Monikes, calculate the moles of hydrogen gas that will be discharged in the electrolysis of concentrated NaCl solution using inert electrodes after passing a charge of 0 0.3 Faraday. Emanuela? 0 0.6 moles. That's incorrect. Pascal. 0 0.15 mole. Yes. <laughs> Fijai, calculate the volume of oxygen discharged at STP at the anode of an electrolytic cell with inert electrodes containing dilute CuSO4 solution after passing 0 0.7 Faraday of charge. Molar volume of a gas at STP is 22.4 decimeter cubed. <laughs> For bonus, Pascal. 3.92 decimeter cube. You're right. <laughs> Your major question. Calculate the mass of copper metal discharged at the cathode of an electrolytic cell with inert electrodes containing dilute CuSO4 solution after passing 0 0.6 Faraday of charge. Atomic mass for copper is 64.0. Pascal. 19.2 grams. You're right. Last set of questions for the round. You have a short preamble. Solve for N, given that, that's a preamble. Did you get it? 3 raised to the power of the expression 2N plus 2 is equal to 81. Emanuela. N equals 1. You're right. Fijai, with the same preamble, 5 raised to the power of the expression 3n minus 2 is equal to 625. Yes, Natasha. N is 2. You're right. With the same preamble, 4 raised to the power of the expression 
2n minus 3 is equal to 64. Pascal. N equals 3. You're right. And that's the end of the first round. The Good Life of Agriculture with RMG Ghana Limited. Experience our quality crop protection products, seeds, fertilizers, irrigation equipment, and technical expertise to increase your yield. RMG Ghana Limited. Agriculture on a sustainable basis. At the end of the first round, Fijai Senior High School has eight points. St. Monica Senior High School has 15 points. Ada Senior High School has 20 points. Let me encourage all schools to work even harder. Round two. This round is also known as a speed race. In this round, questions are thrown to all three schools simultaneously. In order to have an opportunity to answer the question, you need to ring your bell. May I hear your bell, Fijai? Thank you. Your St. Monica's. Thank you. And yours, Ada. If you answer the question correctly on the first attempt, three points. On the second attempt, two points. On the third attempt, one point. Once you ring, your answer must be ready. Best wishes to all three schools. The first set of questions, you have a maximum of 30 seconds. In a reaction of copper metal with HNO3 to give CuNO3 to NO and H2O, how many moles of HNO3 react with one mole of copper metal? Pascal. Two moles. That's incorrect. Natasha. Four moles. You're right. When sulfur is oxidized by concentrated H2SO4 to give H2O and SO2 gas, what is the ratio of sulfur to H2SO4 in a balanced equation? Which of you? Joycelyn. One is to one. No. Um, Pascal. One is two. Yes. <laughs> Next one. When cold water is dropped on solid aluminum sulfide, hydrogen sulfide gas is formed. How many moles of H2S can be obtained from a mole of aluminum sulfide? Natasha. One mole. That's incorrect. Yes, Pascal? Two moves. No. Emanuela? Three moves. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> the nucleus of a cell contains a fixed number of chromosomes. Before mitosis, each chromosome replicates to produce how many chromatids? Yes, Joycelyn. Two chromatids. Yes. What are the two main causes of heritable variation? Okay. Ibrahim? Uh, is sex linkage and sex linkage and uh, independent assortment of the garment? No, I'm not accepting that. Don't try. Yes, Joycelyn? Genetic makeup and environment. No. 
Natasha? Sex linkage and sex influenced. No. The answers, mutations and recombinations. What are the two primary sources of excessive nitrate and phosphate in rivers and lakes? Ibrahim? Uh, they are from factories and also from uh, in, uh, in, uh, r random farming parties or farming activities by the riverbank. I'm not going to accept it. Who next? Yes, Natasha. From the atmosphere and farming activities. No. <laughs> Sewage effluence and intensive agriculture. No partial credit for this round. Rank in order of increasing speed of yellow light. Air, vacuum, glass, water. Pascal? Glass, air, and vacuum. That's incorrect. Who rang next? Natasha? Glass, water, yellow light, air, and vacuum. No. Yes, Jocelyn? Glass, water, air, and vacuum. You are right. Convert volt second to SI base units. Emanuela? Ampere ohm second. That's incorrect. And you rang at that. Pascal? Kilogram meter per second. No. <laughs> oh. Kilogram meter squared per ampere per second squared. What is the launch angle for maximum range of a projectile? Yes, Pascal. 45 degrees. Yes. <laughs> Given that tangent of A is equal to one third and A is acute, evaluate tangent of 2A. Emanuela? 3 over 5. 3 over 5. That's incorrect. Uh, Ibrahim? One or five? No. <laughs> Did they make it? Okay. Natasha? Three over eight. Oh. The right answer is three over four. Expression x plus y squared minus the expression x minus y squared. Natasha? Two y squared. No. Uh, Pascal? Okay, you have x minus y multiply x minus no, y. No, 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 no. Yes, Emanuela. X squared, y squared. Ah, no. The right answer is 4xy. Last one. Find the next term in the sequence. 1, 2, 4, 7, 11, and so on. Yes, Pascal? 16 and 22. Uh, who rang next? Yes, Natasha. 16. Yes, 16. And that's the end of the second round. At the end of the second round, Fijai Senior High School has 12 points. St. Monica Senior High School has 20 points. Ada Senior High School has 25 points. <laughs> round three. This round has our problem of the day. The problem of the day is a single question to all three schools. From the time I ask you to begin, you will have three minutes to present a single answer from your school. The problem of the day is worth 10 points. Let's turn over our sheets and read the problem of the day together. Problem of the day. Describe a simple experiment to demonstrate the presence of culturable microorganisms in 
exhaled air. This is your problem of the day. You may now begin. <laughs> Contestants, please pick up your answers and present them on the boards. Contestants have presented the answers. Before we award the marks, let's look at the suggested solution from our consultants. This is a problem in biology, not chemistry, biology. So the question is to describe a simple experiment to demonstrate the presence of culturable microorganisms in exhaled air. This is how to go about it. First, you prepare a sterile medium, and then you pour the medium into two different petri dishes. For one of them, you take that and you blow air from your mouth into the medium. You do it at least twice. Then you cover the dish immediately, and you can label it. For example, you can call that one A. Then the other one, don't blow any air into it. You cover it just like the other, the one you've blown into, right? And so that is going to be your control experiment, and you can label it B, for example. Now you put the two dishes, the two petri dishes, in a warm cupboard or incubator, and then you examine them daily. All right. After a while, you will observe that there will be clusters of microorganisms or colonies that will appear in the first dish, the petri dish A, the one you blew into. And as time goes on, you see that the colonies will be increasing in size. For the other one, your control experiment, there will be no growth of microorganisms in the dish. So B will have no growth of microorganisms. And this observation will tell you that uh, the one you inhaled, you exhaled into, is growing microorganisms, so there must be microorganisms in exhaled air. Right? To describe this experiment in this manner, you will get 10 points. Contestants, <laughs> where, where do I even begin? Oh, I shouldn't get into it. Do you prefer that I not get into it? <laughs> uh, 
Because, for example, say Monica wants us to grow an animal in a bell jar and feed it. I wonder where the exhale there is going to come from. <laughs> eh? At Dan Senior High School, you were doing some chemistry experiments, chalky precipitate from calcium hydroxide. Hey! <laughs> Vijay, what were you even doing? Some instruments will mysteriously detect your microorganisms. No, no, no. Uh, this was very poorly done. I'm giving all schools one out of ten. <laughs> now, biology teachers, you are watching, right? This is a simple experiment you can do. Please try. Thank you. So that's the end of the problem of the day and the end of round three. Round four. In this round, I'm going to present you with statements. When you receive a statement, please consider the statement very carefully and let me know whether it's true or false. If you are right, two points. If you are incorrect, you lose a precious point. You may choose not to respond, in which case that statement becomes available to the two other schools. A school may ring an answer. If the answer is correct, it fetches the two full points. If the answer is incorrect, it fetches the penalty point. Best wishes to all three schools. I'm starting with Fijai. Your statement. Vertically opposite angles are supplementary. Natasha. It's false. Yes. <laughs> Complementary angles are never congruent. Pascal. False. You're right. <laughs> Any two right angles are congruent. Emanuela? False. Oh, that's a true statement. The symbol of the element antimony is SB. Natasha? It's false. Oh, that's a true statement. The symbol GA stands for the element germanium. Yes, Pascal? False. You're right. <laughs> the symbol for tungsten is TG. Emanuela? False. Yes. Pijai, the color code for a 22 ohm resistor is red, red, red. Natasha? It's false. You're right. Black, red, red is the color code for a 22 ohm resistor. Pascal? False. You're right. Black, black, red is the color code for a 22 ohm resistor. Manuela? True. Oh, no. Ijai, the mammalian pancreas is involved with the digestion of food only. Natasha? It's false. You're right. The mammalian pancreas is involved with the digestion and absorption of food. Pascal? False. You're right. <laughs> the mammalian pancreas is involved with digestion of food, production of hormones, and regulation of blood. Yes, Joycelyn. It's true. Yes. <laughs> a parallelogram with congruent diagonals is a rectangle. Natasha. It's false. That's a true statement. A rhombus with congruent diagonals is a square. Pascal. True. Yes. <laughs> a trapezium is a parallelogram. Joycelyn. It's false. You're right. A solid in a test tube, which on addition of concentrated H2SO4 produces a reddish brown vapor, may be an iodide. Natasha. It's true. No. That's a false statement. It's likely to be a bromide, rather. A sodium halide whose neutral solution gives a cream precipitate with aqueous AgNO3 is likely to be a bromide. Pascal. True. Yes. 
A sodium halide whose solution gives a yellow precipitate with lead 2 plus ions could be a chloride or a bromide. Yes, Jocelyn? That's false. You're right. Pijai, <laughs> the speed of a wave whose frequency is 100 hertz and wavelength is 0 0.5 meters is 50 meters per second. Natasha? It's true. Yes. <laughs> the speed of a wave whose frequency is 10 hertz and wavelength is 5 meters is 5 meters per second. Yes, Pascal? False. That's right. <laughs> the wavelength of a wave whose frequency is 100 hertz and whose speed is 200 meters per second is 2 meters. Yes, Jocelyn. True. You're right. <laughs> Last set of statements, and it, they come with a preamble. This is the preamble. State whether the following statements about the peripheral layer of roots are true or false. Jai, it has a very thick cuticle. Yes, Natasha. It's false. You're right. It is the part of the root epidermis that bears root hairs. Yes, Pascal? True. Yes. <laughs> Last statement with the same preamble. It breaks down as the root ages. Jocelyn? True. That's right. <laughs> and that's the end of the fourth round. At the end of the fourth round, Fijai Senior High School has 20 points. <laughs> St. Monica Senior High School has 31 points. <laughs> Ada Senior High School has 42 points. <laughs> Fifth and final round. In this round, I'm going to be reading clues. Your objective is to solve the riddle. If you solve the riddle on the first clue, five points. On the second clue, four points. On the third or any clue thereafter, three points. In order to solve a riddle, you need to draw my attention. You do so by ringing your bell. May I hear your bell, Fijai? Thank you. Yours, St. Monica's. Thank you. And yours, Ada? Thank you. When you ring, the answer must be ready. There are four riddles. First one. I am a type of mechanical disturbance that propagates through a material medium. I am characterized by compressions and rarefactions. I am longitudinal. Yes, uh, Pascal. A longitudinal wave. No. OK, Fijai. Sound waves. Uh, no. Say Monica's. Emanuela. Wave. Waves. Oh. I am longitudinal, just like my cousin, who is known to excite auditory response in humans. I have no such effect on humans, and I am ultra. So who am I? Oh, ultrasound, ultrasound. You can find up to three elements in my molecule. I am an organic compound with covalent bonds when I am pure. In solution, I ionize easily and readily to give three ions. I am manufactured more than any other chemical in the world. My concentrated solution is a viscous liquid and a powerful dehydrating agent. I am used in preparing an ammonium salt, which is a well-known fertilizer. So who am I? Uh, which of you, Ibrahim? Concentrated nitric acid. No. Another one. Anyone? Oh. This is simply H2SO4. H2SO4. Concentrated sulfuric acid or tetraoxosulfate 6 acid. Next one. I am made from part of the neural tube during development. I am located inside the vertebral canal. In humans, I am divided into 31 different segments. I am the main pathway for information connecting the brain. 
Ibrahim. The spinal cord. You are right. <laughs> I was reading the fourth clue, three points. Last riddle. I am a three digit number. I am an even number. My first digit is the sum of the roots of the equation x squared minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. My second digit is the product of the roots of the same equation. My last digit is the difference of my first two digits. Natasha. 352. You are right. And that was the fifth clue, three points. And that brings us to the end of the fifth round. At the end of the contest, here are the final scores. Fijai Senior High School has 23 points. St. Monica Senior High School has 31 points. Ada Senior High School has 45 points. Fijai Senior High School, thank you for being here. Best wishes to you. St. Monica Senior High School, thank you for being here. All the best. Ada Senior High School, congratulations on winning the contest. I guess you are still on that path to taking the cup to Ada. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Please prepare well, and I look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. Viewers, thank you for joining us for this contest. We are still at the one-day stage of competition. Next time, we are bringing you GSTS, Keta Senior High School and Gauri Senior High Technical School. Before we leave, I would like to acknowledge that the National Science and Math Quiz is proudly brought to you by Primetime Limited. We are sponsored by the Ghana Education Service through the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools. We are also supported by RMG Ghana Limited, a leading agro-input company. Thank you for joining us this time, and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>